This is a can of sweetened condensed milk. This is homemade sweetened condensed milk, and this is a sweetened condensed Jose. One is sweeter than the other, let me tell you. Listen, I'm a firm believer in using tin cans for your recipes, but wouldn't it be fun to make it at home? And plus, you're saving yourself a little bit of money. Back at it like a milk addict. This very popular brand of sweetened condensed milk cost me $2.69. So what would be the benefit of making it homemade? Number one, it has to be cheaper. Or number two, it better be the best tasting sweetened condensed milk I've ever had. The recipe I'm using is by Golden Gully, so shout out to him. And this recipe requires three cups of whole milk and one cup of sugar. This gallon of milk cost me $3.20, meaning that for every cup I use, I'm spending 20 cents, so 60 cents in total. The second ingredient is one cup of white sugar. This entire 10 pound bag of sugar cost me $8.00 and 99 cents meaning that for every cup i use it will cost me around 45 cents giving our grand total for this recipe of about one dollar it's already looking kind of good so i guess it really is just as simple as getting three cups of whole milk just put it right inside of your saucepan then we're gonna put a deadly amount of sugar <laughs> just kidding it's only gonna be one cup into the pot now just get some mixing action going on till it comes together. The recipe said that we have to cook this at medium low till it gets as thick as the uh, sweetened condensed milk. We're gonna see if it actually works. After about 10 minutes on medium, it's starting to look really good. It's gotten a little bit thicker. Now, if you start to smell burning, you're probably cooking it a little bit too high, reduce the heat, or if you burned it, you gotta start over. After five more minutes, it's kind of looking like a syrup now, but it's not quite there yet. I think I need to give it like 10 more minutes. At this stage, you wanna make sure you do it on low though now this yes this is what you want to be seeing creamy smooth coats the back of the spoon perfectly and we're actually going to put this into the fridge so that it can thicken up just a little bit more after about an hour in the fridge your sweetened condensed milk should have gone up by about five thicky points here it is this is basically one can of sweetened condensed milk made at home yes the ingredients cost me about one dollar but you know you got to consider factors like gas how much time it took me to make it. At the end of the day, it probably comes out to be the same price as the stuff you get at the store. Now, as for flavor, I'm not even gonna lie to you, it almost tastes exactly like the store-bought stuff. Except it's homemade, wow, yeah, uh-huh, whatever. <laughs> But don't just eat it plain like me. You can smear it on some toast or even put it in your coffee for a little bit of extra fattiness goodness. But hey, I'm not judging. Final verdict. Sweet and condensed milk, really delicious. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Did it save me money? I think I broke pretty much even. Would I make it again? Only if I ever really needed it for like a recipe, but I don't think I'd make it instead of maybe getting it at the store. But it's still a really good thing to know and to have just in case you don't have some of the canned stuff. Either way, I made a video showing you, so I expect you to make it, all right? My old cook family, don't let me down, yeah? All right, I can't stand not having the mic, so I'm just babbling about you hitting the notification bell, subscribing, and if you like the video, just go ahead and leave me a comment, okay, pookies?